Well, today is St. Patrick's Day, but it may not quite feel that way in Lawrence County. 41 NBC's Payton Lewis traveled to Dublin and she has more. St. Patrick's Day in Dublin looks very different this year than it usually does. Despite it being a beautiful day, many of the festivities were canceled and residents are staying inside their homes. Last week, the Dublin city government announced that they would be canceling this year's St. Patrick's Day festivities due to concerns over the coronavirus. There are currently 146 cases in Georgia, but none in middle Georgia so far. Governor Brian Kemp is encouraging people to remain at least six feet apart at all times and practice quarantining if they can. Local business owner Natalie Curry says she She's sad this year's event had to be canceled, but thinks it was the right decision. It's obviously an interesting time for small businesses, um, a little bit unnerving, but we are prayerful and we are hopeful and we believe in our community and we're praying that people stay safe. And like I said, I think it's the best decision this year for the St. Patrick's. While we're sad, we think it's a good move and we're here if people need us. Dublin's engineering drafter Royce Hull worked on the city's St. Patrick's Day committee this year and says it's better to be safe than sorry. Events can happen another time, but if you're not here to live and see it, then there's no use in you know, putting it together. But the people are real, you know, uh, heartbroken, but at the same time, precautionary as well. Hull said, despite how scary the coronavirus is right now, some events may not be completely canceled. Some events will may take place, but we don't know for sure yet. We got to see how this virus uh, reacts. In Dublin, Peyton Lewis, 41 NBC News. Now, city government leaders say certain sponsors for the St. Patrick's Day festivities this year are choosing to postpone their events instead of canceling them. So for an update on some of those events, stay connected to our website, 41NBC.com.